Um, the top five at five with Rocco. Rocco, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? I don't hey. know why I'm shouting. I'm actually annoying myself. It's kind of your thing. I'm so sorry. You're right. Here's That's what okay. we're going to do today. Hmm. Um, I've been kind of in the process of moving over the last couple of days into a new house. Let's celebrate the houses in pop culture, movies, TV, who knows, real life. Pop culture houses. Let's see if we can crown what we think as a group here are the top five houses, iconic houses mm-hmm. in all of pop culture. This is a really <laughs> wide topic. And I I'm know. I'm really scared that this is going to take way more than the 15 minutes that it's been allotted. Wow. Well, let's, it all starts with you, Kendall. No, oh, the pressure. Okay. I want to put one out there that I think we'll all agree on. Okay. Just to get things started. Which is like never my approach ever. I know. But I'm going to try to be agreeable. Yeah, I love that. Home Alone House. Mm. Home Alone House. The Home Alone House. The house of Kevin McAllister. That house is iconic. Set in outside of Chicago. The 90s furniture. The wallpaper. It's all green and red. It brings you back to a time. It brings you to like a place. You can see that front hallway and you would know... Oh, that's the McAllister house. That's Home Alone. And the outside, too. And I didn't really appreciate, like, how wealthy you had to be to have that house. <laughs> Nobody back did. Back in the day. Because, like, it's huge. Uh-huh. Right outside of Chicago. I would be, I would say, I would, I'm comfortable giving that one. Well, yeah. I also think it it uh, goes across all sorts of generations. Yeah. You know? Gen X, millennials, parents. Yeah. Parents. The boomers. You know? My boomers. mom and dad love that place, you know? Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll we'll put that on the uh, short list. Can we just put yeah. it in there for right now? I'm with that. I Thank think you. It's there. All Thank right. you. I'm gonna go the other route. Okay. And I, I know I'm gonna have to fight for this one. Okay. There was a Disney original movie. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! And I think about this house once a week. Okay. This house changed my mind. Like changed the way that houses in my mind should be. This is smart house. From the Disney original movie house is Smart House. I have a clip of it. Thank you. Here it is. There's nothing to fear. Mama's here. June 26th, drop by our open house for the latest Disney Channel original movie, Smart House. Your mother won't mind. I am a mother like no other. Brittany, I love you, but are you high? (laughs) Yes, but that has nothing to do with this right now. Katie Siegel voices it. It was the first time I saw a house in the way that, like, Oh, we could put like screens for walls and it. It was ahead of its time. And it's like what I've dreamed my house to be every day. Leah, are you with me or against me? Uh, I remember my kids watching this movie like, on Disney Channel. I don't think I was that into it, but Leah, I, feel say like no. I feel like it's already happening and it scares me a little. Yeah. I don't even own the Alexa device. Hmm. Most iconic houses in history, and we're going with some obscure yeah. Disney Channel movie. I think about no. this house constantly. <laughs> no it's way. the bar I have for how fine, fine. I, I want to know what Rocco thinks. Hmm. I mean, for me, it's always been the Brady Bunch house. Mm-hmm. You know, the I mean, Brady Bunch. that even came on before my time, but it was just always on in reruns when I was a kid. I don't know what the Brady Bunch means to you as millennials. It means six people sharing one bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, HGTV <laughs> even just bought and flipped that house. That's how iconic it is. Well, then. It's not that iconic anymore if they flipped it. <laughs> well, okay, they flipped the inside of the house that was the exterior shot of the Brady Bunch house. The Brady Bunch actual house was a set. All right. But I think, didn't they make it? In- they made it into, yes, yeah, so it looked like the show. Yeah, I did watch a lot of that because that's how iconic it Fine. is to me. I think that's a go. That's got to be All a right. go. We're, we got a couple Short on the list. list. Woo, woo. Leah, your thoughts? You got one? I got a house. Okay. Most iconic. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to win. Uh-oh. Oh. The Playboy Mansion. Ooh. Ooh. I, uh, I got a clip of a couple of the playmates talking about the grotto today. We've definitely seen our share of some stuff in the grotto. That, some yeah. crazy stuff going on. We've walked some in on. Some grotto business. Some grotto business. <laughs> <laughs> I would not eat near or around the grotto. I had breadsticks in the grotto. What? That's what? disgusting. I've been to the Playboy Mansion. I've hung out in the grotto. And... Okay, okay. First, for a thing, I was working. Yeah. Okay, wait. It sounds okay. like you were working really hard. <laughs> Don't explain anymore. Never mind. But I was there. I believe Smaller that. than you think. It's like Graceland, you know? Okay, are we doing no, reality TV? No, we're going TV? back to breadsticks in the grotto. Yeah. Okay, finally got to move forward. Sorry. 
Don't, that's for another Let's day, Let's put a Rocco. pin in that one. Let's Go put ahead. a pin, but like a very aggressive pin of we're coming back to that. Um, the only thing I struggle with is we never really knew what the actual house looked like. We had like two views of it. Couple bedrooms. Couple bedrooms. We'd see his weird bed and then mm-hmm. like the entryway. So mm-hmm. I say on the bubble. We're bubbling. We're bubbling okay. it. Okay. All right. Hot take, because mm-hmm. it's multiple houses. The Desperate Housewives houses. Mm. Oh, a neighborhood. The cul-de-sac that was Wisteria Lane for pop culture-wise. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody? I mean, no. is it the fact I mean, that it's multiple houses? There's so many things there. It It feels like a stretch. I can't even, like, drum up a vision except... I love you, Disney Eva Channel. Eva <laughs> Running around really in her cute shoes. That's like all I can see in my that's mind. That's all you need to see, though. Yeah. So I, I would say that's a no for me. When we do iconic cul-de-sacs, it is right there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think it's its okay. own category. Thanks, it hashtag, might be. Hashtag, Number one. hashtag sack life. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Again, I'm, I'm fighting. Go. I'm fighting for the unseen, unheard group. Okay. But that's not what Brittany. They're iconic. They're iconic to me. Okay. If you watch Real Housewives of New York, oh God, you have gone to this emotionally, physically, and mentally. This is Bluestone Manor. This is Dorinda's house in the Berkshires. This is everything. And this went down here. You were topless. You had sex on a waterbed. You kissed another woman. And you know what? I never mentioned that. But you want to mention it? Now we'll mention it. Mention Be- it all. Mention it all. Because no one bitch, I no. earn my own living. Thank wow. you. And that is why... <laughs> That was the best matter. TikTok lip sync I've ever seen anyone pull off. Thank you. Uh, no? Is, is it a hard pass for me? Because <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. Yeah, I like, agree. I mean, if I don't even know what it looks like. All right. Okay, so so can we can we All go right. through what we've got so far? The Home Alone House. Home Alone's on the list. Uh, Brady Bunch is in the conversation. Playboy Mansion's in the conversation. Mm-hmm. And we got a few duds. We got a few duds. And they're all mine. <laughs> <laughs> Smart House, Tuesday at 7 on the Disney Channel. All okay. right, Leah, give us one that's a, a surefire winner. Okay, we got to go with the Christmas Story House in Cleveland. Oh, I like that one. But it was supposed to take place in Indiana, but it's really in Cleveland. <laughs> and you do get the full house. This is a good argument. Mm-hmm. This is. I mean, including the basement. When Ralphie's dad goes down in the basement and says all the words that he's never heard before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's true. You got the, the kid on the stairs. The staircase. The, all right. I'm gonna... You got the dogs running through the porch. <laughs> I like it. I don't got, know if I love it. We got I two say, Christmas movies. I say bubble. Okay. Okay. Probably an inn. All right, Rocco, give us one. Um, I mean, the Adams Family House. I know maybe I'm dating myself here, but that, you know, had all the secret passageways and stuff. Sometimes I get it mixed up with the Munsters House. I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say black that. And white, the Psycho House. Weird. Which is just the... Right. Which is problematic. <laughs> I think you see all of them on the Universal Studios tram tour. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, if we're going to clump them all together, but... Okay, okay. Can I just, can I refresh us a little bit? Because yeah. no, this have... one's going to win. Yeah, 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 okay. Full house. Yeah, full house. Mm-hmm. I think full house Everywhere makes it in. Everywhere you look. And I mean, another very rich house that I didn't realize yeah. how wealthy they were. And you see it when you go to San Fran, and there's always just people sprawled everywhere staring at this house. I say it's an auto in. Auto. No, uh, no need for arguments. And yeah. I love an argument. No and discussion. when you see it, when you see it in the credits, that's a big plus. That's why maybe the Mary mm-hmm. Tyler Moore house, especially yeah. for locals mm-hmm. like us, yeah. might make the list. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm gonna give that one a hard pass. I have, can't mm. drum up at all what it looks like. I can't but, either. Mm. Which is why I'm giving it. A hard pass. The more we talk, the more I'm feeling Playboy Mansion. And Ooh. how about the Flintstones home? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Let's throw, <laughs> let's throw in the Jetsons then. Ooh. Oh, I can exactly give you the shape of their home. <laughs> it's a circle. It did. it did. And it came with Judy. I don't think Smart oh, House would have happened without the Jetsons, Britt. Thank you. Oh, wait. God. That's an argument against mine. <laughs> 
Okay, I'll, I'll, I will bow out. But I do think Flintstones is more iconic than the Jetsons. I think Flintstones was a bigger show. They never made the Jetsons in a live action, which they never should have done with the Flintstones. <gasps> How dare you? I loved that movie. It was so stupid. Oh my God, I loved that movie. <laughs> okay. Um, Kendall brought one up earlier today in an email to me, mm-hmm. and I think this might have nailed it. Here it is. Barbie's Dream House. Oh, you guys. You guys. famous Barbie doll. I mean, I know that it's Barbie and the Barbie movie just yeah. came out, but Barbie Dream House? What about the whole plot of Up being in the, the house? What about that? <laughs> <laughs> it works. The iconic... Barbie Dreamhouse. That yeah. spans generations. It Fine. spans talking points. It's in. Have I named three of the iconic houses? I think yeah. so. Right? If we were to take a stock right now, we've got the Home Alone house, mm-hmm. uh, the Full House house, mm-hmm. the Barbie yeah. Dream house. Mm-hmm. I feel like Brady Bunch is in it's the picture. Be- Christmas Story's in the picture. Playboy Mansion, Flintstones is in the picture. Does anyone have one that they'd argue be better than any of those? That's what I want to know. Mm. I would say on another vein, I do like the idea of Poops Creek Motel, but I don't think it's as iconic as I think it is. Like I can actually tell you the exact layout of that, but I think we're I think we have our five in the list that Rocco gave us. If you add Barbie House and take out maybe a Christmas Story, if we were to poll like eighty year old people, they might say the house from Gone with the Wind. I was just going to mm. say you Sarah. could do Gone Sarah. with the Wind, or you know you could also make the argument. Oh, that fresh, well, we forgot Fresh Prince House too. Mm. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, now this all right. Story all about, about how, how my life got twisted. Let's commit to five right now, you guys. Okay. Right okay. I'm not going to throw in the Downton Abbey house, but like we could. No, I would okay, never <laughs> let okay. that in. That's in a whole nother level too. That's... Thank you. Thanks, Rocco. I feel like that's houses too, right? <laughs> Is that multiple? The House of Downton. <laughs> all right. Home Alone. Yeah. One. Yes. Brady Bunch. I do think we need to include Brady Bunch. Absolutely. Yeah. 100. The yeah. Staircase, all that. Um, the Barbie Dream House. Yeah. Mm, what else did we decide? Full mm-hmm. House. Are we doing Home Alone? I mean, Home Alone had so many iconic moments, too. Wait, Wait didn't she lead with Home Alone? I, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Home yeah. Alone is number one. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is somebody writing these down? I, Full House. I think I got some number here, yes. <laughs> Don't worry. I just did all four. I did four out of so five. Basically, we have five le- uh, one left to hit number to hit five. We're not going to go with Practical Magic, are we, by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I do okay, have fine. a clip of that. But we do? That for... Yeah, here it is. The only kind of magic. You just look familiar. We never met before. I would remember if we had. That can break the evil spell. What would you do, Jerry? What wouldn't I do for the right guy? Is the magic of two people. Magic isn't just spells and potions. Who discover the power. What I'm saying is... I'm a witch. You know, all relationships have problems. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Sandra Bullock. You guys, we do Quinn. not have time Aiden for this. Quinn. <laughs> we promised to get this done in 15 minutes and things have gone awry. Okay, fine. All right, well, I did four. What is the fifth one going to be? Mm. Is it a Christmas story? I think we could argue that it's the Christmas story. Over Fresh Prince? Mm. I would say Christmas story over Fresh Prince. I would say Fresh I think Prince it spans over Christmas more story. more generations. Point taken, yes. All right, Rocco, you're the last vote. I think Kendall's right. It spans the generation's Christmas story. Guys, I feel like I'm the MVP of this round, and I would just like to thank you all for participating today. I feel like I would watch your reality real estate-based show. I feel like. If you had one, Kendall. Justice, thank you. Justice for Smart House. And if you know, you know. You throw <laughs> it in the comments. People will regret this. Mm-mm. Especially when the Smart House rebels against you. <laughs> smart it's, House. It's the whole plot of Smart House. 53% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a Listen. real looker. People Listen. are really going to be commenting about that. <laughs> smart House. If you know, you know. You better you better show out in drones, Smart House people. Oh, Lord. Hey, Rocco. What a great oh, vote. Good top five, everybody. Great Let's top. Next week. Let's do it again next week.